Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is October 14th, 2022. And today is Friday morning. So, wow, U.S. markets bounce sharply on a short squeeze. But first, major economic events scheduled for today. Two events out in the United States. First, at 2.30 South African time, retail sales coming out. And then at 4 p.m., consumer confidence. Very important number coming out as well. Now, in addition, corporate earnings, J.P. Morgan coming out with earning reports as it starts its earning season. We do have a reference for July 14th when it came out with the last corporate earnings, so do reference it. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, Japanese yen continues to tumble versus USD. The indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq will spike. Looking at commodities, gold unchanged, while oil recovers just below $90. The stocks traded together with the index and Bitcoin spikes as well. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're going back to the J uh, Japanese yen, and I was always going to say, almost going to say J.P. Morgan, but we're going to see that a little bit later. Japanese yen making new lows for the year, 147, and just keeps on inching higher. Now again, I mean, this could go all the way up to 150. We're at all record time highs here, as you can see, surpassing historic highs. Uh, as far as we can go, at least in this chart. So with that said, just keep that in mind. We could hit, if we hit 150, a break above it, that could continue going lower. Now looking at Canadian dollar, just trading lower here, okay, adds its spike to that 139-ish level. Also on its highs, but close to its resistance this level at 142, didn't hit 140 yet, at least for now. And I do expect some sort of correction here as well. Now the euro hasn't been trading so much, just got spiked yesterday with the market. That's understood as the US markets did spike. But first, looking at the commodities, gold really unchanged day to day. Yes, it did have this massive sell off and then recovered, but it's within the same range, okay? So that's just a roller coaster ride. Looking at crude oil, we did get a spike yesterday to $89, just shy of $90 a barrel. Now, looking at the US markets, this is where it gets exciting. We're looking at the Dow Jones right now. It's now retreating about 100 points, but yesterday it went over 1,000 points during the day. Now, this is so bearish market. This is really just very bearish market conditions where we spike. And then we don't have a follow through. And that's what I'm, I'm suspicious of today as we're spiking right before these massive numbers coming out from the earnings season. First starting, first starting out with JP Morgan today, Bank of America follows and then the FANG stocks following that. So this is going back to July with the last time we came out with these type of numbers. So, you know, there's a little bit of like a pump up before the drop. And this is exactly what's been happening. Looking at the NASDAQ also, we did get that nice bounce as well, but not as sharp. Look at that, 11,092. And so you, you got the bounce, but it's not an umph umph. There's no follow through and there's very little volume here. So I'm inclined to think we're going to go back down. Now, looking at the individual stocks, this is where it gets kind of interesting because they've been trading together with everything else, okay, except Facebook. I mean, Facebook is really, yeah, it's spiked, but not that by that much. If we look at the bellwethers, the Cisco, okay, it did spike, but again, not that much. If we look at Intel as well, it did spike. This is the most it spiked, okay, in the longest time since we've had this massive debacle of this trending downwards. Now, we are at resistance -ish area as we're hitting that 30-day moving average. You could see it. And as long as we don't break above it, we could see it further go down. Now, looking at the other stocks, Microsoft did bounce, a huge bounce, we have a $15 bounce there. Okay, but remember, this is a short squeeze, meaning there's not real buyers here. It's just people covering their shorts and then, you know, panicking out. And then, but the, the, real, the real test is to see if it's going to correct itself on the downside as well as we're making that correctional move on the downside. Now, looking lastly, at Bitcoin did get a spike to 19,924 up from 18,400. That's the most it's done. I mean, if we look at a daily chart, let's keep an eye on that. 
that's the more the most it's done in a quite a some time okay but it's still trading in such a tight range you can see it on a daily so it's it's still difficult to trade but those of you that are trading it just be very specific about where you pick it up and where you drop it off so keep that in mind so today should be a volatile day because consumer confidence is coming out which is a huge number and then also jp morgan with his corporate earnings and as we go into next week this is fred Razak. i want to wish you guys a great trading day